And when you go to the movies, it's the first thing we all do, right? You grab a snack. If you're anything like me, you head straight for the candy. It is so tempting, isn't it? You can't see inside the box, so you shake it up, and you may assume it's filled up. But now new class action lawsuits just filed against some of the biggest candy brands claiming the boxes are underfilled. So how much candy is actually in there? This morning, guess what? We're cutting the boxes open to find out. We all need our sugar fix, and at the movies, you pay for it big time. From chocolate, oh yeah, of these, to hard candy. But now, these new class action lawsuits claiming you aren't getting your money's worth. This one saying Nestle intentionally misleads and shortchanges consumers on boxes of raisinettes, bunch of crunch, butterfinger bites, rainbow nerds, sweet tarts, toll house chocolate morsels, spree, gobstoppers, and snow caps that they're underfilling them. Yet another class action claiming Mike and Ike and Hot Tamales are doing it too, saying they uniformly underfill the boxes by 46%. My client certainly believes that this is a clear cut case of false advertising. Forking over $4, $4.5 for a box of candy, only to later learn that it's only half full, is adding insult to injury. So we wonder just how much candy is actually in a box. To find out, I hit the movies. Let me get the Butterfinger Bites and the Raisinets. Buying multiple boxes of candy from all the favorites. I'm in heaven. Shopping for boxed candy at drugstores, too. All right, got it. it. Says five ounces in here. And bringing it all back to our NBC kitchen. So here's what I'm doing. I'm cutting a window into each candy box to see where the candy actually starts. Just like this is a box of Raisinets, almost done, there we go. Put it down. Look at this next to the closed box. This is nearly half empty. I mean, take a look at that. The candy line starts all the way down there. Brand by brand. Oh, hello, snow caps. I cut into each box for a peek. Okay, so I've cut open all the boxes. Let's see what we got. I already showed you the Raisinets. Take a look at the snow caps. Look at all of that empty space. Come right over here to the nerds. Look at all that empty space. And I have it next to a closed box right here so you can see. Butterfinger bites, a lot of white back there. Look at the bunch of crunch. This one's really stunning. Come on in. Nearly half empty on the Nestle Bunch of Crunch. All right, we have the Gobstoppers. We check the hot tamales. Look at all the empty space on the hot tamales and also on the Mike and Ikes. I'll tell you this, though, of all the candy we checked out, none of them are filled right to the top. So how is this possible? Nestle, the maker of these brands, telling NBC News the headspace is to avoid spillage and product loss during high-speed filling, adding there also may be some unavoidable settling. Just Born, the maker of Mike and Ike and Hot Tamales, calling it functional headspace, no different than many other candy and food packages. Both companies saying all these products and labels comply with FDA regulations, but some consumer experts say it's just wrong. If you have a huge box like this, but it's only filled halfway with contents, that's absolutely deceptive in my book. We did check the net weight promised on the box in the little print, and we actually weighed the candy that we checked, and it did match. Well, it should match because it's required to, but that doesn't give a company license to use a deceptive package where the consumer's made to think they're getting more for their money because the package is big. Nestle and Just Born telling us the lawsuits are baseless and inaccurate, and they plan to defend themselves vigorously, guys. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. Overpriced movie snacks? I'm shocked. <laughs> Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.